something that people that don't go to auctions or go to an auction now and again don't realize is that it's sort of our own or our auction family, if you will. Uh, the, once a month or every couple of months or whenever we have that type of sale, you get the same people that come in. It's like a little family reunion every month and everybody gets together and visits and you don't even see them in between. And you, but they become part of your life and you think about them and, and, uh, and hear all about their adventures and watch them grow. Ten years ago, a member, two members of our auction family, if you will, back when, when Wards was in St. Albert, was uh, Liz and Paul's Abel. And what we have in the sale this weekend, 90% of the sale is theirs. And you're going to actually see, they were dealers in the area, plus collectors, you're going to see, uh, we've just left them on, old tags, we didn't leave them all on, but uh, some of them, old tags, uh, Clausen tags, Ford's auction tags with the St. Albert phone number or no phone number, but the old logo that was more uh, straight lines and whatnot. Um, stuff that they bought and it was sitting there for all this time un untouched. So like I say, 90% of the sale is theirs. You're also going to see what box lots, something that we, we haven't done since they were at sales 10 years ago. Um, we see, you see the occasional one that comes into, the, into our sale where uh, just some leftover stuff and we do a box lot. This sale has 100 if it has one. So that's why we're not going to do any shipping for this sale. So those that are buying online or absentees, normally we would package up and ship. Um, when, when you just see the boxes coming up, you're going to understand why. And there's too many of them in this sale. It's really a kind of an eclectic fun sale. Um, it's just it's prohibitive to, to ship and so on. So, but we do have some, obviously the box lots are not expensive. They're great for the, for the market dealers and whatever. Uh, but there's also a lot of other neat items. Commission's cabinet, of course, and, and inside here you see you see one shelf at a time is going to be a lot. So there's all nice Royal Winton pieces, including chintz and, and whatnot, carnival glass, and it's going to be sort of just one lot. Shelf is one lot. They're good lots. You're going to have a lot of fun with that. A couple things that are not in this, not not from that consigner, but that's not really a big deal. A proper piece of Murano here, carnival glass, harpsichord. Another nice cabinet, and again, you can see inside here, one shelf is a lot. Good Royal Winton, a James Kent chintz, has a lot. Carlton, we're on the bottom, you probably can't see it. Just has a lot. Um, lots of chairs, another cabinet, again, carnival glass, good genuine stuff. Years ago, that would have been four lots up top there, now it's one. So you have one, two, three, four lots inside there, some more across, some vintage shoes. Um, Toy sale coming up, dolls and toys. This came in today, there's some Britain soldiers in there. We'll talk more about the doll sale coming up in a little while. The sale that we're talking about right now, the viewing is Friday, September 12th, 2014, from four until eight. The sale is on Sunday. We'll, we'll start selling at 10, the doors will open at nine. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a long day. It's 670 lots, so it's gonna be a long day. Uh, doll sale coming up also in September, that's on the 27th. Same weekend as the doll show, which will be in Edmonton as well. Details of that are on our website. So that's going to be on Saturday, the 27th, because the doll show is on Sunday. Viewing will be on the on the Friday. Presumably for now, it'll be four till eight. So, but keep an eye on the website. Thanksgiving Monday sale coming up, of course, in October. We'll talk about that in a little while as well. Here's your box lots. There's a pile of them. So you get an idea why you know if we if we were going to ship this, it'd be a hundred dollars in packing and a hundred dollars in shipping. You know, for a miscellaneous box. So it's just prohibitive to, to do that sort of thing. There's a whole bunch of stuff off camera that we won't talk about right now. And there's signs all over the place that say, please don't mix up the items when you're viewing it, because that sometimes happens. And then it just becomes, you know, complicated as to what somebody's bidding on. So, but there's a pile. You can see them. It's top underneath and it's on top. They're double wide up here. There's more in the building coming up later on. Lots of primitives. There's a really neat little piano down there. Lots of primitives, harnesses. Off camera down here, there's enamelware and pop copper boilers. There's a multi-drawer card file here you can't see. Rotor tillers. There's, there's one of everything in this sale. Uh, in here, there's a gorgeous bed back there. The patina on it is wonderful. You can see where the pillows used to be leaning up for, for years and years. Very large, if you can see on this table, a very large Limoges china set in a really nice pattern. Um, I think it's a setting for 10 or so, and you can check out your catalog, and, and in excellent condition. It doesn't look like it was used at all. If it was, it was certainly used gently. Behind here, gorgeous quarter cut oak cabinet, sideboard if you will, barley twist supports on it, beveled mirror. Gramophones and typewriters and records. Magazine table. Here's another little curio, and inside you're going to see 
you know, on the top you got this, these three items are a lot. You're gonna see Royal Daltons and Bezwick animals, and I'm not sure if there's horses, but there's dogs for sure. Again, more miscellaneous boxes. So again, top and bottom, piles and piles of them, and we still haven't seen them all yet. So again, this is reinforces why we can't do the shipping thing. Some modern furniture, we're semi-modern, nice recliner there, that's a, a, a mission style recliner. There's a violin down there. If there's one violin in the sale, there's 10. Um, that must have been one of their one of their hot spots and accordions as well. So that sort of covers that side. Down here, you can see way down at the end there, there's snowshoes. There's gotta be six or seven pairs of snowshoes, or more than that even, nine pairs of snowshoes. Stacking bookcase in oak. Uh, some leaded panels off off uh, off camera. They're big like this. There's a, there's a, a barber chair right in here. You can't see. There's tonka to tonka toys. And there's this. This is actually a game. If you weren't at the firearm sale in August, and, and a lot, obviously a lot of the regular collectors or regular antique goers were not at that sale. This and there's a video on our blog. Michael posted a video of the blog. This was sold at the Palladium auction back in I think 1999. No, 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 sorry, way after that. Um, I don't even know when it was. 2004 it was done. This was only in service for three years, and it was a quarter million dollars when it was bought, and it is an autumn, you know, it moves. I, I wrote this thing a, a, a whole pile of times when that sale was going on. Um, we had it in the firearm sale. Yes, it's big. There wasn't takers on it. Right now we have lotted it as a, a sled, and, and, and the underneath is one item. This sled is one item. You don't have to take the whole thing. I think what we'll do is we'll offer it up once. Somebody wants to take it as, as the whole package for token money, doesn't have to be a bunch of money, then we'll let it go. Otherwise, it's broken up into those lots. So one, two, three carts, put it in the yard for the grandkids to play around in. I know my grandkids actually loved it one day they were in here. Each one of these big screens is a TV. Inside here is a projector. If you look on the website, you'll see the model number and the and a photograph of it, big projector, shines onto a mirror and then shines onto this. So you could use it to just shine onto the wall or whatever. So if you buy one of these, you can strip out whatever you want from it. You can just take the projector if you want and leave the rest behind. We'll deal with whatever you don't want out of it. So then that's one, two, three lots, and it's essentially the TV and anything inside it. You want it all, take it all. You don't, you want it just the projector, just take the projector. On top, again, one, two, three lots, each one has a couple of cameras in it and a couple of Yamaha speakers and away you go. So, I don't know. Whatever, whatever it is you, somebody might decide to do with it. Over here is sort of the brains of the whole operation, I guess. Um, there's a bunch of components down in here that are sort of un, unlabeled and then there's amplifiers and video cards and stuff in there. So if you want it, that's going to be there. Who knows what's going to happen, but it, it, is, it is here, it's going to go away, I'll tell you that. Back to the more regular stuff, lots of antique furniture down here. Another curio, and again, one shelf at a time, some more chintz, some other types of glass. In this cabinet, we don't have this sale this time, we've got the Thanksgiving Day sale. So that's on Thanksgiving Monday, I don't know how many years in a row it's been, other than when we were sort of in hiatus, but a lot of years of the Thanksgiving Day sale. Some great pieces that are coming together for that one. More violins, back to this sale, more violins. Nice big round oak table, I forget how wide it is, probably a 46. Four leaves to go inside this one, six chairs. Sideboard here, different lot. Gingerbread clocks, nice little retail, I'm guessing a little retail card holder of some, some sort. Excuse me. Another curio cabinet, one shelf at a time for lots. It's Carlton Ware down there, cups and saucers up here. Nice cups and saucers too, you know. Some stuff off camera that you're going to love. Little Etagere, a fireplace around. You're going to love some of the stuff down there. More miscellaneous boxes over there, again. And shelf lots that are, that are very much like them. So again, I can't say it often enough that we can't do some shipping. This table down here, round table, has one leaf in it. And it's got two more and there's skirted leaves. So a um, little unusual. Sometimes you get one skirted leaf and then a couple that are not skirted. This actually has three skirted leaves with it, which is neat. This accordion cabinet, little guy playing a squeeze box on it, and inside is a, is a squeeze box. Yeah, the squeeze box is a different lot, of course. A couple of matching Morris chairs down here. Um, I'm going to guess the Amish of sorts. Cool toolbox, lots of furniture. Some of them are in group lots, some of them need a little bit of TLC, so they're in group lots. Smaller wardrobe, lots of retail display cabinets. Um, vintage ones and homemade ones. Great vanity. Here's some dolls that are for the 
doll auction. Again, that's on the 27th of September. The bottom shelf um, is stuff for Thanksgiving, some good, good Oriental there, and Dalton Lambeth there. And if you haven't seen this on the website, this gorgeous clock up here, clearly it's Sev's panels and, and gilt. Uh, lots of information on the website. Just a wonderful piece. Pump organ. This cabinet that we usually have the sterling silver in uh, for our normal viewings. Again, this is more Thanksgiving Day stuff. This is all sterling silver Raphael, or, um, Rembrandt pieces in there. A basket full of Dalton Lambeth bottles. I think that's the coolest thing on the planet. Thank you very much. Some neat Dalton pieces in there. We did catalog a few things. Not a lot on the website yet for that sale, but there's a, there's a few items. There's more shelf lots over there you don't need to see right now. Some really neat small groupings and individual items. Again, this is from Liz and Paul's estate as well. Costume jewelry, there's good proper, you know, proper, it's all proper, but there's good jewelry as well, some expensive stuff. It's in the safe, so I won't be showing you that right now. But you can see how there's some really neat smaller group lots, lots of perfume bottles, lots of combs, hair, hair receivers or um, uh, hat pin holders. There's hair receivers coming up, that's why it caught my mind, I went right there. Um, but I meant to say the hat pin holders and hat pins. Some sterling bits, again, costume jewelry. Um, cigarette holders, I think one of them is amber and sterling, the other one's got a gold collar. Might be a, a darker amber, I'm not positive. Chintz breakfast set, uh, and I think that one is Winton as well. So there's a, a great pile of stuff there. There's some more dolls in here for the doll sale. That's on the 27th, uh, and this is an uh, automaton. You, you wind that and she does her little thing, so you can have a look at that. There's accordions. Again, I think there's half a dozen accordions in the sale. There is some larger miscellaneous lots, and then there's some other fun stuff. Vintage padlocks and automobile stuff, and the, the tables are full like they always are. Some vintage radios, some newer radios. This one here is particularly neat, I think, anyhow. I think all the pens in here, if not all of them, most of them are all ship-related. Um, mostly from, you know, like canard lines and stuff. And then this is obviously a retail display cap and four pens. That's a fun lot. You don't see that sort of thing too often. Um, Carnival glass, again, there's a bunch over there. There's iridescent glass. We'll set up a, hopefully we'll set up a black light and get that on display properly for you. There's a whole bunch over there. We won't waste a lot of time looking at it because you're going to come to the viewing and have a look anyway. Uh, again, I'll echo the dates on that one. That is Friday, September 12th, 4 to 8 is the viewing. That's this Friday. Sunday, September 14th, open at 9, start selling at 10. It's going to be 670 lots, so we're going to be rocking through that as fast as we can. The doll sale on the 27th, Thanksgiving Day is um, the Monday, the holiday Monday. Uh, we always do it on the holiday Monday. We'll start at 10 in the morning. Again, you'll see a lot of nice stuff coming up for that one coming up pretty soon. And then we have a two-day firearms and military sale with the Haynes Group. So that'll be awards auctions and Bud Haynes auctions joint venture again. That's going to be on Saturday and Sunday, October 25th and 26th. You will see Linda and Jim at the military show in Edmonton this weekend. So go, if you want to go and have a look at that, do so. I picked up these today, speaking of the firearm sale. A uh, whole bunch of knives. There's another box over there. There's some great pieces in here. All brand new. He was a collector of newer stuff. And I mean, there's some clearly some expensive stuff in here. So we'll, we'll be making up some group lots for that. And here's a little, little display he had. We'll sell that as one lot. Um, I think there's quite a bit of value in there. He became my new favorite consigner, of course, today because he gave me a gift. And this is a D.H. Russell Groman belt knife. It was a sort of a centennial, not centennial, but you know, a commemorative thing. Um, Marines, uh, Canadian Navy, uh, 1910 to 2010. It's got the knife in there, nice little scabbard, and the uh, little, I'm sure there's a fancy name for it with the doodad for doing your sales and whatnot. Uh, so that was very nice. So he's my new favorite consigner. Hint, hint to everybody else. I don't know what to do with the box top. There it is. So well, hopefully we'll see you this Friday at 4 o'clock for the viewing. If you have any questions, give us a call, 780-451-4549. If you're not already on the website, you've seen this video accidentally. It's wardsauctions.com. My name is Brad Ward, and we will see you on Friday. Thanks for watching.